Hey Ravens, and welcome to this week's edition of Own Dubby Now. Today we have a story about the new riding center, Connor Invasion, an award presented by an Own Dubby staff member, a look at the prop box, and Game Day Northwest. If you ever struggle riding, you might want to check out the riding center held during second seminar every week. Victoria and Libby have the story. Are you in need of peer revisions? Room 1316 at Olathe Northwest becomes a writing center during Seminar 2. The purpose of the Writing Center program, I would say, is to help students of all ages uh, improve their writing. Several universities and high schools who've had a writing center have had great success rates. We heard that Olathe East actually had a writing center and it had been an awesome and really successful program. Um, I was actually a writing center tutor myself in college and so I had some background. This program encourages students to not be afraid to come out and get help from their peers. Uh, we're not going to talk about it, the tutors that is. It's kind of classified between us, you, and your teachers. Sign up online for an appointment at onwwritingcenter.weebly.com or scan a QR code from one of the Writing Center posters in the hallway. We want to see everybody coming in and, and getting the resources you need to become even better writers. For ONW Now, this has been Victoria Scarduzio and Libby Bandy. Now back to the desk. Aora es tiempo para la invasión de Connor. Yes. Estoy en la escuela, en estoy en la clase de español, cinco, AP, you know what it is. Let's do this. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with my silly missing. So this week, I decided to invade the AP Spanish 5 class. It's been a couple years since my last time in Spanish class, so I was going in with some hopes and some doubt. They made me a name tag, which was pretty nifty. First, everyone introduced themselves. At first it went slow and I was able to understand. Then it seemed like everyone was speaking gibberish and I was very, very very confused to say the least. And then there's me. Hola. Soy Esteban. Or wait, yeah, I can say that. Uh, me llamo Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. Uh, a mi me gusta comida <laughs> y, uh, como se dice, uh, to sleep. Dormir. Dormir. I also like to do that. <laughs> Next, we watched a video about how we can learn from the past to better our future. It was quite inspirational and, not gonna lie, I, I did shed a few tears. Gracias. I wish I could say I'd be here all week, but that's <laughs> not true, because I won't. Estás invitado todos los días. Gracias, senor. Overall, I had a great time with Los Estudiantes, and I can't wait for my next time to go back. Peace. Gracias, Connor. De nada. Let's take it to game day for the latest on Raven Sports. Hey, Ravens. Welcome back to Game Day Northwest. I'm Brendan Wolford, alongside Kyle Rink. Today we have recaps of the football game against Olathe East, volleyball's quest to return to the state, and our Athlete of the Week. First up, the football team took on their biggest rivals last Friday, Olathe East. Parker and I were there. It was senior night last Friday for the Ravens against Crosstown rival Olathe East. The defense has dominated the first half. The Hawks had two deep interceptions, one on Easton Krupper and the other against Kyle Rink. The defense recorded four sacks in the night. Seniors A.J. Knoll and Ryan Leeper had one, while Connor Turk recorded two. After the first half, it was still 0-0. Late the East then drew first blood on a 16-yard touchdown by Zach Cahill. ONW responded quickly with a nice drive capped off by Darius Henderson, who scored a six-yard touchdown of his own. Senior linebacker David Burton then took the lead up to 14-7 after a tremendous 75-yard scoop and score which swung the momentum to Olathe Northwest. ONW never let up for the rest of the game. Chris Diddle kicked a 47-yard field goal, 
his longest of the year, and a school record. Kyle Rink, looking to make up for his early interception, ran a fake punt and took it 40 yards all the way to the end zone, extending the lead and getting the final score of the night, making it 24-7. O&W will now look to sweep all the early schools for the first time in school history as they go 1-1 one in one districts and will play Olathe North Friday night at ODAC. For Game Bay Northwest, this has been Brendan Wolford. Now, back to the studio. Congrats to the football team on the big win and for having a school best 6-2 record. They take on Olathe North on Friday night at 7 p.m. at ODAC for a chance to advance to the playoffs. Good job, guys. The winning doesn't end there, though. The volleyball team traveled to Lawrence over the weekend for Substate. Riley tomorrow has a story. The Lady Ravens volleyball team went into regionals with a target on their backs as a number one seed. In the first game of the day versus Gardner Edgerton, the team had a quick lead of 12 to 6 and ended up winning 25 to 14. And in the second game of the match, the Ravens had a 5-0 lead to start the game. With the Trailblazers behind the whole game, the Ravens had an easy win of 25 to 10. In the second match of the day, the Ravens went head to head against rival Olathe North. With points going back and forth, the Ravens gained momentum and pulled ahead, winning 25 to 10. In the second match versus the Eagles, the Ravens pulled a 5-0 lead again, giving North no room to breathe. The Ravens ended up winning 25 to 9 and giving them a spot in the state. This is ONW's third back-to-back-to-back sub-state championship and now puts the Ravens 39-1 in ranked number one conference and number one in state CD. Make sure to come out this Friday and support your Lady Ravens at the Topeka Expo Center as they head to state taking on Wichita Northwest at 3.30. For game day, this has been Riley DeBaron. Now back to the studio. The volleyball team has a Sunflower League best 38-1 record and that's a three-peat for sub-state champions. Congrats, ladies. And now for the Athlete of the Week, Brick Bicella has the look. Sophomore Rosie Klausner, our Student Athlete of the Week, was picked for her dedication and work ethic to improve her game of golf and how it's more than just swinging a club. Golf is like a more of a mental game than it is like a physical game, so it's like You'll like get frustrated over one shot, and then you'll get back to it on the next ones. Rosie has dedication to work harder and improve her game of golf for the upcoming years. Well, my improvement from freshman year is probably like zoning in on each shot. Overall, Rosie finished the season placing second at regionals and placing in the top 20 at state. She can't wait to improve her golf game even more next year. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brooke Biasella. Now back to the studio. Congrats, Rosie. Also, congratulations to Ivan Kaminsky. Cameron Geldner and Leah Wellman for qualifying for state for cross country. The soccer team lost two two to one in overtime at Latha South Monday night. They finished the season with a ten and six record. Great season, guys. Good luck to all our teams this week. That's all we ha have for the, today's show. For Kyle Rink, I'm Brendan Wolford. Now back to the desk. Next, we have a look at the winner of the Educator of Excellence Award. Luis and Natalie were there. <laughs> Who do you go to when you need help in the library? Mrs. Thompson. Well, I was nominated for the Educator Excellence Award, and it appears that my friends and students thought enough to nominate, and I won the award. In the last month, both of the school librarians have won awards from the Olathe Public Schools Foundation. Cindy Vonfelt from the Olathe Public Schools Foundation awarded Mrs. Thompson. Well, we heard that she's a real team player, that when the staff person needs help, she is the first one to be on the scene to help them out, and that the students felt like she was always someone that they could turn to uh, when they were in the library and needed that extra help. A teacher must be nominated by the students and staff of their school to win the Educator Excellence Award. ONW is the best place to work, and being a librarian here is the best possible job ever made. On top of her award, Mrs. Thompson won $500 for her achievement. From ONW Now, this has been Natalie Hunt. Back to the desk. What's the prop box and how does it work? Beats me, but Tiaja has an inside look. Hey, Brady, I think you dropped your wallet. Oh, thank you. I had $80 in there. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. The Prop Box is a way to recognize students' kindness throughout the school. Created by the Friends of Rachel's Club, the Prop Box gives away a $10 gift card and feature on ONW Now. I sat down with Lauren Redlock, the four club president, to find out the process of being nominated. You can nominate someone in the front office. There's the little Prop Box, and you just take one of the slips of paper and fill it out and then just put it in the Prop Box. You win the top three or four people every month 
go to Dr. Poss's office and you get a gift card to somewhere popular at the time, whenever it's in, and a chain necklace that just has some encouraging words and recognition. It's really just anything that kind of like puts you out that just kind of makes someone else's day and helps someone else. Did we take notes while I was gone? Yeah, we took two pages. Here they are. Thank you so much. If you see an act of kindness, make sure to nominate. I'm Tiaja Holt. Now back to the desk. I'm here with Brant Picaren, the Stuco president, to answer a few questions about the Week of Giving. What is the Week of Giving, and when is it? Yeah, so the Week of Giving is Olathe Northwest's big philanthropy, philanthropy event of the year. Mm -hmm. um, this year we're doing a canned food drive for the Johnson County Christmas Bureau, and we want each kid to bring in five cans. Sounds awesome. Uh, what is happening at Chick-fil-A during the week? Um, actually, during the whole month of November, Chick-fil-A is hosting a competition between all four Olathe High Schools. And basically, all you got to do is just eat at their restaurant and say that you want your, their, your money to go towards Olathe Northwest. And each week, there's a different item on the menu that you can order. I do love my Chick-fil-A. And how can students participate? Um, there's going to be a lot of things for students to do throughout the week. Um, there's going to be spirit days mm -hmm. for three of the days. On Monday, it's Raven Pride Day. Wednesday, it's Red, White, and Blue Day for Veterans Day. And Friday, it's going to be a Red Day for the Blood Drive. Um, there's also going to be a pep assembly on Monday, mm -hmm. there's going to be uh, an activity night on Wednesday, but more, most importantly, we just want kids to bring in their five cans. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks for coming in, Brant. For uh, Samantha McHugh, I'm Connor Bickford. Have a great week, Ravens.